Today is sign day at the Capitol, marking the end of the legislative session, and lawmakers have approved the state's nearly $13 billion budget plan. But as Jordan Fremstead tells us, the battle for the budget isn't over just yet. The guarantees in life include death, taxes, it concerns me greatly. And politicians who don't agree with each other. I am proud to support public schools and parent choice. And because of that, Thank you. it is seen Please as a betrayal to our first time? love, our covenant relationship with public schools. And time again. Year number nine for me has been probably one of the most chaotic. However, Friday was Oklahoma's budget deadline. I know that the legislature is proud of this budget. There's been a lot of work that goes into it. While people went about their day outside this building, lawmakers inside the Senate gave the green light on how to spend their money. Passed. The general appropriations budget is about $12.9 billion. Representative Ryan Martinez says all the other bills lawmakers passed Friday will bring the total close to $20 billion. Most of the money goes into education which includes $5.6 billion. It's up to the governor, obviously, to decide what he's going to do with the budget. However, Governor Kevin Stitt says this budget costs too much money. I'm not going to stop advocating uh, for lower taxes. Stitt says he is considering calling a special session to ask for those tax cuts. We've passed tax cuts this year. We passed tax cuts for people with kids in private school. Senate Democrats say they already have. We passed $55 million of corporate franchise tax cuts. And so the debate continues. I don't like the amount of spending that we're doing. And it's up to the governor to decide when the debate stops and Oklahoma's budget becomes law. At the Capitol for Oklahoma's own, I'm Jordan Fremstead.